she said she loves you so But every night you fall asleep afraid Sing yourself a lullaby Hi, this is Mo Volans for Point Blank Music School and we're currently looking at the excellent final touch by Positive Grid for the iPad. Now, so far we've looked at all the individual processors and we've even looked at some of the more advanced features, but I thought it might be quite nice to do some genre-specific treatment, so I'm gonna actually master a pop rock track and show you some tips and tricks for this specific style of music. So we've got a track by Sarah Mount called No Prayer For You loaded here. It's a 24-bit pre-master, so this is the finished mix, but it's completely unmastered. You heard a bit of it in the intro. But what I'm going to do now is uh, go through and show you how a pop rock track like this can be mastered in Final Touch. And I'm going to go through in a short amount of time all of the, uh, the all of the modules and try and give you a good idea of what we can do. Obviously, you probably want to spend more time on a finished master than this, but this should give you a good overview. So let's go ahead and play the track back and get a feeling for its sonic quality. Now, it's obviously a good mix. We've got a vocal. Got pianos and good percussive elements. We've got quieter and louder sections towards the end. So overall it's a well-balanced mix, so we shouldn't have too much work to do here. But let's put the first EQ in, and to speed things up I'm going to go with a preset. I want to add some presence and some high end, so let's go with digital presence. And the good thing about this is you can start to use these bands as a good starting point. I'm just trying to add some extra air to the mix. I'm pretty happy with that. And I want to make it sound a little wider and a little bigger, so let's use the reverb. And again, we'll go with preset. Uh, we'll go with wall of sound. I like the sound of that. Hmm, it's a little boomy, so I'm going to reduce some of the low end with a high pass filter. And there's too much of it, so let's rock it back to, say, 20%. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, let's go with the dynamics. Again, let's have a look at the presets. And we'll go with rock dynamics. Maybe adjust the levels slightly. Obviously not every preset is going to be right, so you're probably going to need to tweak things a fair amount. I'm bringing the ratios down here. We'll take the track back to the beginning before we add a little bit of stereo imaging. Filter the mono low end. And finally, maximize the track slightly. And you can li listen at different points by flicking through the track. Maybe a little bit too much reverb there still. And I would probably carry on tweaking those multiband dynamics. But you get the idea. We can push through all the processes. And once you've got that, you can save it. And you can continue to tweak it before you export it. And Add as many EQs or as many of the processes as you want. Experiment with taking them out and putting them in. You can see there I didn't even use the post EQ. I felt it didn't need it. It was definitely bright enough. And like I say, I will probably spend more time tweaking that. Next up, we're going to try the same thing again, but with an electronic track. And you can see the different approach we're going to use and probably going to make things a little bit more bass heavy. Mm -hmm. 